I'm Kevin Hayes, and I'm coming home. Me, my check. We on your neck. Shooters on deck. All we do, win. All we do, win. Kevin Hayes has made his mark in the NHL, playing for the Rangers and now the Philadelphia Flyers. But before his pro career and before winning a national championship with Boston College, he was the youngest of five from Dorchester. I love everything that Dorchester stands for. It's uh. It's kind of a blue collar town and you got to work for everything that you get. Uh, I've been lucky enough to, to be successful in what, in what I strive to be, but um, I don't think it would have been possible without the, without the stuff that Dorchester uh, instilled in me. The lane in front, Jimmy Hayes with a shot, score! Boston College ties the score 2-2. Jimmy went to BC, so you wanted to go to BC. Jimmy played hockey, so you wanted to play hockey. Jimmy got into the NHL, so you had to do that. What was that like growing up with that dynamic where you have an older brother who's being successful in the sport that you also want to be successful in? When I was at school, I would see him playing in the NHL and it was, he loved it so much. And I think I never really had real aspirations to play in the NHL until I got to BC and realized that it was, uh, somewhat possible for me to do that and and um, and yeah so I mean I've basically followed him my whole entire life. You come in and you play for one of the most legendary hockey coaches out there. What was Jerry York like for a coach? Yeah he was great. Uh, I remember the day I committed he came over to my parents house in Dorchester for dinner and and um, he, he treats you as a hockey player but his main thing is uh, you leave school with a diploma in one hand and a national championship in the other hand. Uh, I was lucky enough to do that. You graduate from BC and you go to the Rangers. Was there a moment in your mind that it all clicked, that it was actually happening for you and that you were going to be able to do this as a profession outside of school? Yeah, it was awkward when, when the news broke that I was signing with the Rangers. Like All the Boston sports fans that I'm friends with were like, what's going on of any team? How did you pick this team? And and uh, I just felt like it was the best fit. It had nothing to do with, with wanted to be rivals with Boston or anything. And um, it took the New York fans about two years to fully be okay with me being a Red Sox, Celtics, and Patriots fan. Um, and it, I mean, it kind of built like a little bit of a friendship with the fans. All right, well, you come home a lot, but overall, what does coming home mean to you? Coming home back to Dorchester is, is awesome. Uh, it's where this New England and Boston especially loves their sports teams and when you pull up to your parents' house in Dorchester and you see 15 kids playing street hockey outside with Blackhawks Hayes jerseys on and Rangers Hayes jerseys on and Winnipeg Hayes jerseys on, it's it's cool to to know that at one point you were wearing Bruins jerseys when you were that age playing street hockey out front. All right, now you can take a break and we'll do rapid fire. Best ice cream. Ice cream Smith. All right, best coffee. Mudhouse. Best pizza. Pat's Pizza. Favorite teacher? Um, Miss Lewis because every time I'd write a paper it'd be about hockey and she called my parents once and said that you need to stop telling your son he's going to play in the NHL because this is all he talks about. Favorite coach growing up? Um, probably Tommy Municello from Weymouth. Okay, and last but certainly not least, this one's kind of hard, neighborhood legend? Probably Skippy Larry. Skippy Leary. Yeah, and that's just a Dorchester name. His name is Ryan, but he's known as Skippy. And, and I mean, he's probably tells more stories than I can about coming to BC and, and doing things at, in high school and stuff. But, but yeah, he was probably my ride or die partner growing up. Mm -hmm.